Good morning and welcome back to another video. I am going to make a video on how I prepare my beef fat. So I have a chunk of fat here that I end up and get from the butcher. And so I'm gonna show you how I prepare it, cut it up, and what I end up and do with it. So here we go. I'm gonna tilt you down so that you can see. Okay, so I have this chunk of beef fat. I'm just going to cut it up and or cube it up into chunks. When I end up and eat it, you know, as a meal, I end up and I eat like the fat first for my first meal, and then I'll end up and add some of this fat to like my second meal of the day. But what I do is Just cube it up. Sometimes little chunks fall off, but I'm gonna chunk it up anyway. You can leave it in like smaller slabs, and then, like myself, I end up and put it in the air fryer, and so slabs work on the shelf. But like I said, I'm going to cube this one so I am cutting it in probably inch slabs right now some people choose to eat it raw I just think raw fat tastes a little waxy to me so I don't eat it raw I throw it in my air fryer but so there I've got it all sliced now we'll just Take those slices and cut them into chunks, just like this. So we'll go through that process here. And it doesn't matter if they're even, I just kind of actually randomly cut it so that it's into cubes. Like I said, it's random is fine um, because as it cooks, it's just going to cook it, you know, into different crispiness, basically, different doneness. I leave them in pretty good chunks because I don't want it to fully render as it cooks, but I'll show you. I also don't cook it from like this thawed state. So I'll show you that here in the next step once I get it all chunked. Now I do the same with all my types of fat, whether it be pork fat, beef fat, if I get slabs of lamb fat, I end up and do the same. I just either cube it or slab it. So. so it doesn't matter if it's even or not, I'm just 
heard through the process here so you can see the next simple step. piece here okay so there we have it we have it rough chopped up and then all I do with these is I put them in a ziploc bag Got my hand off here I just throw you know a few of the cubes into a ziploc bag I don't weigh it in the raw form because the weight that I keep track of being a high fat carnivore is I want the fat macros from when I what I'm actually consuming, not what I'm cooking. So I take the weight after it comes out. So the way I end up and gauge that is I'll either grab one baggie or two, but I put these baggies in the freezer. I don't worry about it getting, you know, just being in a Ziploc bag, not being vacuum sealed because honestly, I consume the fat before it will ever get freezer burn or anything like that. I don't keep it in the fridge because I put these baggies in the freezer and then go freezer to air fryer to prevent a lot of rendering off of that fat. It cooks it, you know, nice and crisp on the outside, whether you're cooking it like in a pan with tallow or cooking it in the air fryer. I'll put the air fryer, I have a Ninja Foodie, so I can set it on sear if I have some of the rendered fat like in the bottom of the pot or I can just set these cubes on their you know rough rougher chunk cubes and so I can set those on the rack as well but like I said I I cook it from from frozen and you can keep You'll see a little bit of fat shavings. You can keep those and like if I'm making eggs or something like that, I can just throw them in my skillet and they'll render down nicely so that you can just fry those eggs up in it or utilize any other type of fat.
I said I save even the little shavings. These I'll just stick, I will actually stick in the fridge because those I will use beef fat and I will stick it in the freezer okay so here we go we're gonna put the fat in the freezer and then I'm gonna pause pause this one and then so I can flip the camera around and show you how I do it in the ninja Okay, so here's my setup. I have the Ninja Foodie that is like eight different appliances into one. You can either click it on the air fry or you can end up and, like I said, I have some rendered tallow that is in there currently. So I'm just going to heat it up on the sear saute You'll want to do it on medium high heat so that you don't cause smoking of that tallow. And then it'll end up melting what is in there. So I will pause this for a minute while that tallow heats up. Okay, so as I said, it's on medium high heat. That tallow is rendered. We're going to try doing this one-handed. So the tallow is not to the heating point of it smoking but it's going to be hot so what I do is take those baggies that I said were frozen this is obviously from what I just cut up so it's not froze but you can hear it sizzle I'll try doing this one-handed without dropping the bag in the cooker so then I just end up and basically let it fry in that oil or tallow it's not oil it's rendered suet so it's tallow okay so as you can see it's cooking up nicely it's kind of flop it around so it cooks even. It's been cooking for about three, four minutes at this point. So what I do is I have a plate on my scale. I'll zero it out. And then I just end up scoop these fat cube. Oops. Try to do this one handed. And You see, it's actually almost 3.84 ounces of beef fat. So what I'm going to do with that hot oil, and this is going to sizzle, but I have my source of protein here. I'm just going to drop it in that hot tallow.
that I have in there that I use for my turkey. We will keep out of there. It's just nice and golden brown on the outside. So right back to the same scale that had my fat on it. I re-zeroed it. I'll just set that on there. And you can see it is 2.12 ounces of protein. So that will be my second meal of the day. If this was my first meal, it would have just been the fat. But this is my second meal and it's what I call fat loaded. So I will show you. We'll go from here. Oh. Shut the air fryer off. We'll go from here and I will show you what I do with it from here. So I end up and I just use Redmond's Real Salt. I have it in a shaker. And I just salt the fat and salt the meat. So you can end up and see. And I'll slice into that nice golden brown piece of steak. You can see the fat's crispy on the outside. But the steak is going to be nice, rare, medium rare on the inside. Which is just how I like it. So you can see it's nice and I'll end up and I'll just take a bite of fat, a bite of meat and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Make sure while you're here you click subscribe and if you're on Instagram make sure you click follow for more videos on how I eat.